Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with HMD, which is Mathematics and Technology Educational Consultancy. Today we'll focus on Scholastic Aptitude Test, University Entrance Exam 2013-14, Part 4, with neat and clear explanation. If you are new for my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Let's get started. Here is question number 50. Which one of the following is a term in the scans 6, 14, 22, and so on? A, 258, B, 284, C, 264, D, 246. Okay. Before watching the answer, Please try by yourself and then check your answer with my answer. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Here is the answer for question number 50. So it is given that a n is 6, 14, 22, right? So now the common difference d is going to be a2 minus a1 because it is an arithmetic scan. Then the common difference becomes 14 minus 6 is equal to 8, right? The common difference is 8. So now the general term of an arithmetic scans can be written as a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So a n is equal to a1 is 6 plus the common difference d is 8 times n minus 1. So this implies a n is equal to, just multiply this one, which is 8n minus 8, right? So 6 plus 8n minus 8 implies a n is equal to 8n minus 2, for n is an element of integer. So n must be an element of integer. If n is different from an integer, then it is invalid or it is not valid. So let's now check each choice, the, the, whether they are valid or not, whether the numbers which are described in each choice can be the term of the skins or not. Let's check the number which is in choice A. It is saying 258, right? n is equal to 8n minus 2 is equal to 258. Is it valid or not? We are, we are checking. So now, this implies 8n is equal to minus 2 will be transferred to the right side. It becomes plus. So 258 plus 2 is going to be 260. So if you are going to divide both sides by 8, then n becomes 32.5, which is different from or which is not an element of integer. This implies this number, which is 258, cannot be uh, a term for this scans, right? So let's check for B again. So in choice B, the number is given as 284. So this implies n is equal to 8n minus 2 is equal to 284. So 8n is equal to 286. And when you divide this one by 8, n becomes 35.75. And this one is not an element of integer. Hence, 284 is not an element of these scans. Again, the choice, the choice C contains 264, right? So n is equal to 8n minus 2 is equal to 264. This implies 8n is equal to 266. So n is 3.25. Again, this one is not an element of integer. Hence, this number is not the term in these scans. Again, the last choice is D, which is saying 246. So 8n minus 2 is equal to 246. So this implies 8n is equal to 248, sorry. It is to mean 248. This one is 48. Sorry for this for making a mistake here. 8n is, is 8n becomes 248. So n becomes 31. When you divide 248 by 8, the value of n is going to be 31. You see, this one is an element of integer. So, 246 can be a term 
in this schemes, which is the third, third one term of the schemes. This implies 246 is the third one term of the schemes. So better on this, the answer is going to be D. I hope you got the answer and let's continue with the next section. Here is question number 51, which one of the following is equal to the stress, which is the sum of n starting from 1 up to infinity of twice of n minus 5. A minus 3 plus minus 1 plus 1. B 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 7. C 1 plus minus 3 plus 1 plus something. D 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus something. So, as usual, please try by yourself first and check your answer with my answer. Let's get started to answer this question. So, here is the answer for question number 51. So, let the sum is, or the stress is Sn, which is the sum of n starting from 1 up to infinity of to n minus 5. And let an is to n minus 5. So, now Sn becomes a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 up to a infinity. So a n is going to be twice of 2 times 1 minus 5. So this implies 2 minus 5 which is minus 3. A2 is going to be 2 times 2 minus 5. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 5 is going to be minus 1. A3 is going to be 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 5 is going to be 1. Now, a4 is going to be 2 times 8 minus 5, which implies 2 times 4 is 8, minus 5 is going to be 3. So, Sn becomes a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 and so on, right? So, Sn is going to be minus 3, which is a1, plus minus 1, which is a2, plus 1, which is a3, plus 3, which is a4. Therefore, the answer is going to be a minus 3 plus minus 1 plus 1 plus 3. Thank you very much. Let's continue with the next question, which is question number 52. Question number 52 says, a container has 235 floors in a variety of colors, red, blue, yellow, and purple. There are 45 blue flowers. One fifth of the flowers are red. 40% of them are purple. And the rest are yellow. If a flower is picked at random, then what is the probability that the flower picked is yellow? A, 9 over 47. B, 49 over 235. C, 2 over 5. D, 1 over 5. Students, please try by yourself first and check your answer with my answer. Let's begin to answer the question. Here is answer for question number 52. So now let n be the total number of floors, r be number of red floors in the container, b be number of floor number of blue floors in the container, p number of purple floors in the container, y number of yellow flowers in the container okay now n is going to be 235 which is given right because it says the total number of floors in the container are 235 and b which is the number of red flowers i'm sorry b which is the number of blue flowers is going to be 45 which is given again now r is one one fifth of the total number of floors this implies one over five times 235 which is 47 and p which is the number of purple floors in the container is 40 percent of the total floors right this implies 40 over 100 times n which is 40 over 100 times 235 which is going to be 94 and the, the remaining R, it says the remaining R yellow. This implies number of yellow floors is equal to total number of floors minus number of red floors plus number of blue floors plus number of purple floors. 
so this is to imply y is equal to 235 minus 47 plus 45 plus 94 this is 49 this implies the total number of yellow floors in the container are 49 so the probability of picking yellow floor from the total 235 floors is going to be number of yellow floors divided by total number of floors this is going to be 49 over 235 so the answer is going to be b i hope you got the answer and let's continue with the next question which is question number 53 here is question number 53 you go to a restaurant for lunch and want to order a sandwich there are 25 sandwiches on the menu and six of them are toasted if you order a sandwich at random, then what is the probability of your order is not toasted sandwich? Bear in mind, it is asking that the probability of your order is not toasted sandwich. A, 19 over 25. B, 16 over 25. C, 9 over 25. D, 6 over 25 before watching directly the answer please try by yourself first and check your answer with my answer let's get started here is answer for question number 53 so as usual let n total number of sandwiches t number of tested sandwiches n number of not tested sandwiches so here n is 25 because it is saying there are 25 total sandwiches and t is going to be 6 because in the given menu there are 6 sandwiches which are toasted so n which is the number of not toasted sandwiches is going to be 25 minus 6 which is 19 25 minus 6 which is 19 so the product of the product of picking or ordering not test sandwich at random is going to be number of not tested sandwiches divided by total number of sandwiches which is going to be product of n is going to be 19 over 25 so the answer is going to be a i hope you all guys got the answer if so that's good let's continue with the next question which is question number 54 question number 54 says 28 male lions and 172 female lions are living in 500 acre park if 35 more male lions are introduced into the park how many more female lions should be introduced so that six over seven of the total number of lions in the park is female a 241 b 324 d 206 d378 here is the answer the answer for question number 54 let t be total number of lions in the park x be number of male lions exist in the park y be number of new male lions introduced z be number of female lions exist n be number of new female lions which are going to be introduced M may be total number of lions, total number of male lions to mean this is total number of male lions. F may be total number of female lions. Please try to recorrect this one. M capital M is to represent total number of male lions. Capital F is going to be to, to represent total number of female lions. So here M, which is the total number of male lions is going to be x plus y this is to mean number of male lions exist plus number of new male lions which is going to be 28 plus 35 which is 63 you can take this one from the given question and total number of female lions is going to be z plus n because z is number of female lions exist and n is number of new female lions which are going to be introduced and here we don't have the value of n or the value of small n right 
So F is going to be 172, which are the number of female lions that exist plus N. So F is going to be, again, it is given that the total number of female lions has to be 6 over 7 of total number of lions, which is capital T. This in place, 7F is equal to 60. So total lions is going to be total female lions plus total male lions, which is going to be T is equal to 235 plus N. So it becomes, here we have found that 7F is going to be 60, right? So 7 times, here F is 172 plus N, subset here. 7 times 172 plus N is equal to 6 times, capital T is 235 plus N, which is 235 plus N. So now it's going to be, just multiply this one, it's going to be 1204 plus 7n is equal to 1410 plus 6n. Just do some uh, manipulation here. So it becomes just forward this one to the left and forward this one to the right. So this implies 7n minus 6n is equal to 1410 minus 1204. So this is going to be n and this is going to be 206. So this is to imply the number of new female lines to be introduced are 206. So the answer is C. I hope you all got the answer. Thank you very much.